Hey everybody and welcome back to Ready Steady Play where we are now going to discuss our game of Western Legends. And we played here the full Kickstarter version with two expansion packs that come with it. Michael and I have played this version once before. We've also played the version with no expansion packs twice. And this is Chris's very first game of Western Legends. So why don't we start with you, Chris, because you've played it the least. How was sure. your first impression? Uh, the first impression it made when it was on the table and I was uh, learning how to play was was very positive. I thought I thought it looked really good. Um, I, was, I was looking forward to playing it. Uh, my my initial reaction after one game is it's really really it's very it's very pleasing. Mm -hmm. The way everything the way the way the way the, the way the game flows is extremely. I was just going to say pleasing. it's very quick. Yeah, it's very quick for the most part. It's up, it can suffer from a bit of AP, but not an enormous amount. If if mm -hmm. you, even if yeah, someone at the gets, start and you're like, ooh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, it might, do. the sandbox nature of it kind of did, as I said, overwhelm me a little bit to begin with. But mm -hmm. then um, it was wasn't long before I I decided what I, I, before I kind of I some certain actions I started started being my blind spot and mm -hmm. I, was thinking, I was only focusing on mm -hmm. um, particular aspects of the game. Yeah, as I said, it's very pleasing, very enjoyable because it looks really nice on the table. That's it what feels, I like. About it feels it. Yeah. you feel like you're building up. Like I feel quite like I'm different from you guys. I got my my my. My rifle, which I don't really use, but I got my rifle, my lady mule, and I got my three <laughs> items. I feel quite distinguished, distinguished from the mm -hmm. other players yeah, in my yeah. terms of my abilities. Um, so it's really, really pleasing. Um, I find it the moment to moment, turn to turn, just act of playing it very enjoyable. Um, if I take a step back and look at it objectively, I think there are some serious design flaws in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's re so so. Well, I won't go into those. I'll let you guys have a have a bit of a say before we start maybe talking about, about particulars. But but my initial impression is really 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 enjoy it despite some crippling flaws. Mm. Yeah, my uh, my first experience of playing this, which was just a basic set, which doesn't use the legendary tokens and it doesn't have half of the items and it doesn't have a lot of stuff that was present here. When I first played it, I got super suckered in, and I sort of uh, I really I can see how that could have happened. I really enjoyed it. I I, I really uh, we were playing it at Essen actually, and it was being demoed. And the guy who was demoing it, uh, I'd started off here. I was a banned it again I wanted I think I might be Billy the kid actually and um I immediately wanted to just walk into town and rob someone yeah, and the yeah. guy who was deming it was like why don't you try these cows and I was like no nah, I'm robbing that guy and he was like are you sure you don't want a cow I was like I'm robbing that guy he's like let me just check the rules for robbing yeah. <laughs> he, he also probably didn't want you to potentially ruin that ruin, guy's day yeah because yeah, yeah. he wants that guy to buy the game too right yeah, so, yeah. You know. and I was like um I can't remember the guy's name I think it was Dave or Rob damn it sorry Dave or Dave Rob, or Rob. <laughs> um, Two virgins. I think it was Dave I'm pretty sure it was Dave I'm going with Dave. I'm so, sorry, Dave. Dave. Uh, <laughs> I was like, um, I'm really sorry, Dave, uh, but I, I, I just wanted to see how it worked. And I, I robbed him, and that was a lot of fun. He had nothing I could steal at that point in the game. And <laughs> I just did it because I, I wanted to. Cool. And uh, I was immediately, like, sort of enamored with it. I was like, this is great. Yeah, I, I had the same initial reaction by looking at it. I understand where you're coming from there. And I still feel like, in isolation, a lot of the actions you take... And a lot of the elements come together to feel very wild wester. West Definitely, one hundred percent agree. You're, I, saying, you're you're saying a similar thing to me, I suppose. Yeah, in, in, in in, yeah, words. but I'm kind of, I've got a huge butt coming up as well. Well, yeah, but so, <laughs> so do I. Yeah, we both do. Well, I, what I, you, Michael, I genuinely really liked it as well. Um, I have played it three times now, um, and I've been both a baddie and a goodie. Um, and I feel in this game you were both you were both in this game which is kind of cool I was yeah. um, and you won which is interesting it's exciting um, so and I like that aspect of it how you can yeah. how it can flip and you know, you can change your strategy if if you feel like people are think you're running away with it because you're getting too many points and they want to track and they want to change tack and change your whole strategy I like that element of it and mm -hmm. like you said Chris I like the design of it it really draws me in I'm a sucker for anything western and historic or anything like this so this ticks a lot of boxes for me but I also think that um, one of the times that I played it I felt in like it was an incredibly if you are the person that is potentially and I think you may go on to this but if you are the person that potentially finds yourself at the at the losing end of the spectrum it's a fight, fight a and fight duels, and so. duels just because of the random look involved in some of the actions sure. then you can it can easily become a game that I think you could get really frustrated with it um, sure. and um, that could taint your enjoyment definitely I think games with, all games with heavy player interaction stuff from that however it is kind of up to the like I suppose if you're if you're 
really fall behind, you'll be left alone for a while. Like I was left alone. Yeah. When you, but when, I, but you I also were think, each other for a while. so one of the times where we've played this as well is that we left each other alone mm-hmm. and that actually made, that, that made it a very unenjoyable that, game because it made it really boring. Well, not only did yeah, it make it boring, it but we actually, uh, we, we, we basically just didn't go for player interaction at all. And we played it without actually interacting right up until almost the end of the game. So no robbing, no stealing, none of that. Just left each other alone completely. Didn't even get to move the sheriff. So it became pick up and deliver. It, <laughs> and it all fell apart. I it was so dull. Way. Not only was it boring, but it was also completely solvable. <laughs> 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 it was like, this is obviously the most efficient path to victory. And Michael had started on the wanted track in that game. And it was he was unstoppable. And the only reason that he didn't win that game was because towards the end, my buddy was like... We can't have this anymore. I'm arresting him. <laughs> cool. And, and <laughs> I worked. was... And it was the only player interaction in the whole game. He arrested Michael and then I won. And it was... Un- he and made it, you, basically. And, he and he, to he, he fair, totally made me. And, and, and exactly. And again, I could have easily run away with that. It just yeah. so happened that it was incredibly unlucky. I had an ace, but... Um, Rob, who was we were playing with, um, had a card that brought my hand down by one. Yeah, yeah. And so we were it drawing. And then... So I lost. Um, you mentioned you really like the theme. Funnily enough, I usually don't like westerns at all. Not a theme that appeals to me whatsoever. When I first ever seen this game, I think my first interaction with it was South Park. I didn't see the, I didn't see the Kickstarter, mm-hmm. and then that South Park has something we look into, and I was like, eh, doesn't appeal to me. Mm-hmm. But then when I heard, when I heard how the game actually worked, I was excited to play it. Um, and the theme, I actually really enjoy the theme within this these mechanics. I think mm. the theme, it works well. It does. Um, so it actually made me enjoy a theme that I don't usually enjoy, which is quite which is a compliment, I think. Yeah. Um, do you you have any do you have any caveats? You seem, you seem to be pretty more. Je- we're, we both have big butts coming. You don't sound like you do. Uh, I think no. I think it's easily a game that can be enjoyed or not enjoyed. A very. Uh, on the flip of a die, uh, and if, I, yeah. If you're ultra competitive, if you had a really competitive, serious hardcore gamer, group, yeah, I don't. Think I can enjoy imagine. This. Uh, I can imagine people not enjoying. It. I think it's too simple. It's too simple for that, but it's also too t- complex for re- experienced gamers. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So it falls into, um, so a, it falls into a ne- yes, exactly right. Yeah. Um. I feel your two bit butts are now coming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why don't we go over to you, Chris? Um. Well, I'm struggling to kind of. Uh, be, think of a concise way of putting of, of putting it. Well, here's my issue, right? The uh, the mining, there's an optimal way of solving it, right? You grab the equipment you need from mining. Um, yes, if I if I I think I said I said to you yeah. off camera, had I realized this strategy at the start, I think I might have won. Um, you which is and, to grab the miner's map and the upgraded donkey here. And I think this they I think they really should it's very easily solved. I think why on earth is it four spaces between a mine and the bank? Because it's so close. Because if if you if you ha- if it was five spaces, then yes, you can do it in one go. But you have to get the Mustang, which means you can't carry the extra gold mm-hmm. and can't get the extra point for selling four gold. Yeah, yeah I mean this uh, yeah. this this little extra bit here gain yeah. an extra LP as well. Yeah. I mean gold is already basically the most efficient way I of getting seven points. And four, so I gained five and seven. I gained thirteen. 12 points I can do maths mm-hmm. I gained 12 points in like so like the gold so quick in, in like and I could uh, done it one two or three times I easily but... could have done it another time had I tried yeah. to earlier yeah. on I, I yeah. don't know what I was trying to do to begin with so I think that but that gold to... is very clearly the fastest way to victory what why it doesn't do testing, why didn't they say move the bank here or, or well, something <laughs> and they, what it doesn't do is get you on the wanted track or the martial track so there so, is that caveat but you can't be arrested then but you can't be arrested then. Um, uh, and, 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 and while I was doing that, I wasn't doing anything else. So I was just building up an invincible hand of cards. I had well, ace and king. I, yeah, I, I was. I I, I I couldn't do anything aggressive at the end of the game. And part of the problem I had was that I hadn't built up the the arsenal of weaponry to do anything aggressive. But your starting combo of that rifle and that character was so, so strong, intimidating yeah. that I didn't really feel like Definitely. going up against you at all. Yeah. So then my only that's real option was it. to go against Michael. But that's I'm sort of getting ahead of myself here because I also think that, um, I mean, the thing is, so that's like the most efficient way to get money. If you want to get on the wanted track, the martial track, then it's cows is your alternative. Yeah. The problem with the cows is that the rewards are inconsistent. Yeah. Yes. And it's boring as shit. So yes. That's why I didn't do it's it. It's so boring. I, it's I, it's I was doing completely it I was, solved. I was bored. <laughs> pick up and deliver. And then, so your last thing is poker. And the thing about poker is that... It's, it's expensive with two cards to play a game of poker, dude. 
Yeah, it's it's expensive in no cards. You get no points. Unless the monetary hat. reward's not that great. And if you have enough cards in hand and you're not playing against another real person, I mean, you're obviously playing against a real person, right? Because someone plays the dealer. Yeah. But if but, you have enough cards in hand going in, it's almost unlosable. I don't understand why... And you can get a point poker. with the 10-gallon hat. Why would you ever play poker when you can mine? Just go and mine. the gold, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And yeah, I mean, I didn't... I mean, when, you, when, when the game's explained... I mean, so I it's... Heard, it's I heard about the cows. I was yeah. just like, you can, I'm not doing that. You can, I'm not doing cows. You can get <laughs> robbed. Yeah, and well, gold. that's... And that was my next step, which was to say that the... So the entire... Enjoy all of the enjoyable part of the game entirely rests on the player interaction and the player's involvement with one another, arresting each other, getting on yes. the martial track to do that, you. becoming wanted, redeeming yourself. And so you're so reliant on the people at the table to make it an enjoyable game and sort of take actions that make it exciting or interesting. Because yeah. what's fun is the is the robbing and the dueling and all of these things, which we didn't do a huge, I mean, I did a bunch of robbing. I didn't do any dueling. Fair amount of it. But uh, it got at the in the latter half of this game. I was so outclassed. I couldn't really effectively do anything on that front mm. either. Mm-hmm. And so, and we only played a medium game. Yeah. This yeah. is the medium length game. Yeah. So I'm a little concerned that it's just it's just a little. There's just not enough substance there. Do you know what I think? No, there isn't. It, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. It. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't see yeah. this coming. Me evergreen. This. You wouldn't keep cracking this out this is i'm really mm-hmm. glad i played this mm-hmm. but and if you invited me to over next week and said hey do you want to come play west legends again i'd say yes i would but i don't know how many more times i would i think the third time that i might say is, can the, we play the, something the else, else? Yeah. <laughs> yeah do you know what i think is also quite broken mm. how you can deposit all your gold and get all that money and then rob it in the same turn yeah that's yeah. crazy and then you get three on the mm-hmm. wanted track i mean rob the bank three times that's one turn and you get Max out wanted. And I, I considered doing that at one point because my cards were so strong. I, yeah. I, and I possibly should have. Maybe I'd have yeah. won because I'd have gotten three, started getting one points earlier. I thought, well, I wouldn't have won actually, but I might have done better. You get um, loads of money for that. You get like $80. Yeah. Basically, I mean, you, you basically, there Robert are. Robert one and a half times. Yeah, there, 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 are, there are some, there are some, ac- some paths that are so much more official, efficient and beneficial than others. And the ones that are crazy efficient, like, like, like you come back to this, like mining. It seems so easy to have fixed it by just making it five spaces away. So you either choose the fast mm. horse but can't carry as much, or you ca- or you pick the cart horse and can't move as fast. And can't because you can literally mo- you can literally if especially if you've got the king, that you take four actions a turn. Mm. You can head over here, mine, head back, and sell yeah. all in one well, go. And um, Michael and I were spitballing the other day, just sort of things we would sort of add to the game to make it more interesting. Mm-hmm. And we spitballed a few basic ideas that just seemed really interesting. And I don't know if they play tested a whole bunch of stuff and wrote it off or if, cause we were, uh, I was reading a, um, an article on, on board game geek about what happens if the sheriff enters a space with a bandit. And the designer had said that uh, nothing happens because they couldn't figure out a, a thing that would happen that, that didn't Could you remove him? break he something. Does. Yeah. He said that that would make it boring. Because the bandit would be off the board. Then you could use, but they spawn so frequently, and you could just use him to clear they a spawn path. Spawn every then. time you do an. I, I don't. I don't. I mean. I mean. Look, I'm, we not, had I'm, a, not, I'm not. I'm not a game designer, but I find it hard to believe. We had a lot of. Uh, we had a lot of story cards in this game. I've seen games where many fewer um, story cards come out because some of these are actually. Game. Some of them are no. Some of these are actually really difficult. Yeah, um, okay. I don't know if this is. Uh, I we well, did shuffle them though. Yeah, but there's like. Um, some of these are a bit off color for some reason. Anyway, not the point. Um, but the, the, they also are, are very uh, uneven in terms of rewards. Like most of them are really, really dull. And then occasionally they'll give you one of these incredible legendary items. And you're just like, and these are really, really cool. And I've never seen them come out. I've never seen them come out. One day. Uh, maybe. Well, no. <laughs> no, it won't. Not unless they, they add something to the game. That to make just you want to play it again. <laughs> to make me want to play it again. Yeah, because yeah. I've, I've played it four times now and I'm done. Like I thought... After playing it twice with the most basic version of the game, I thought, okay, I get this now. I'm ready to add all the Kickstarter content. So I put it all in, and it changed nothing. Do you know what? I'm going to make, I'm gonna make <laughs> it a, nothing. Gonna make a really right. bizarre comparison with this. Because I actually would love to play this again with, with, in the right setting. Um, I, put, I remember um, I played Arkham myself, Deborah, and Ben. Play at Ben and one of Ben's other friends at Ben's house once played. We played Arkham Horror. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's nothing alike. But a very similar experience was like there's a lot wrong with this game, 
Uh, there's a lot wrong with this game, but it's stupid. F- it was good, f- stupid fun, God, and I we would... kind of just. I know it's a copter game, so it's so different. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's no, the know, big but, difference but, for me. No, but the, the, this I could see the exact same setting, just with fr- in, in, you know, Saturday night in with some beers and some junk food, yeah. just laughing and 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 being stupid and not taking the game seriously and just just enjoying it for what it is. That's the kind of game this would be for me, and that's exactly yeah. how I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's a bizarre comparison. But that's this. This to me is like a beer and pretzels, stupid night in. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel I could bring this to people that I know, and they would enjoy it just for the simplicity. Because it is really what that's one of its main selling points that it's very Simple, quick. Yeah. To set up and to learn. And there's but there's hilarious stuff that can happen like. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess so. It is quick, but then again, I think that it's quick to set up and learn with people who are board gamers. True. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, not no, I sure agree. Because if you're not that, used to like sort of location oh, actions, and if you're not used to like sort of this kind of stuff and cards that stack, and you have to choose to swap them, it's if you're just not used to this kind of stuff. If you're like not a hobby gamer, um, or cards that have like multiple purposes, then yeah, it, oh, yeah, it, right, it, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of like actual yeah, no, complex that's, that's, that's why it fits things that are niche. only complex if you're not familiar with them. Okay, you know, because like. Point. On, but, like, because Chris problem. is a hobby gamer, and he found the sandbox thing a bit paralyzing at the start. Yes. yes if if you're not a gamer at all, there's so much decision making to do from I, day I got, one. I got one. over it quickly, but I you were like, turn, turn, so a, turn one, I was literally, <sighs> literally didn't have a clue as to. It yeah. took, I quickly got over it, but yeah, turn one. It was, but I think I feel like a more casual gamer would be paralyzed for so much longer and have yeah, no idea true. what to do, and then they try and do something, and then it might be retarded, especially by someone who. <laughs> Maybe. No, no, I don't mean. Uh, sorry, uh, what I mean by retarded is that they might be um, prevented from doing what they want to do, especially but, by a more experienced player, or it might not well, work out in their favor. And well, then what I they become frustrated. What I was trying to mean was yes, there's a lot to learn, and yes, there's um, th- there's th- that whole sandbox can be quite confusing. But I think once you start going, there's only so many things you can do. I think that's what I was trying to get the point across. Yeah, like, maybe, but uh, I still feel like it's a bit tough decision to know what you should do. Which is fair. And it, it, like I said, it relies a lot on players to maintain the balance of power. And again, if you don't do that player interaction stuff, and I feel like you'd be intimidated if you were a new player or a more casual player to do that, then it's boring. Uh, well, it's reliant then on the ex, uh, the, been... the, the, the experienced player to sort of like half throw the game to mm. make sure everyone else has is... a good time. Yeah. That's why it's a perfect beer and pretzels. Uh, yeah. Beer and pretzels <laughs> nonsense. but Nonsense, yeah. If we uh, so, so I think that's what, yeah. pretty much our thoughts on this. But if uh, you guys have a beer and pretzels nonsense game you think would be better than this, off the top of your heads, let's hear it now. Oh, you put me on the spot. Yeah, on the spot. I don't like this. I'm gonna look at your collection of inspiration. <laughs> quickly, quickly, show me. Because I mean, because I one of the big questions I asked when I, I was being asked when I was playing this was, does it replace Merchants and Marauders? I really, I still haven't played that. I really want. I to. haven't played that. So maybe we should play Merchants and Marauders on the channel. If you have a copy, send it to me because I sold mine years ago. Ben has a copy, I think. No, he sold it too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But for me, a great beers and pretzels game that I would play a hundred times over this Galaxy Trucker. I haven't played that. Oh, Galaxy Trucker is so much fun. We played it on the channel. Check it out. Me and Ollie, ages ago. It's like 28 episodes long. It's It's your favorite game ever though, so that's why you play it. (laughs) Yeah, but it's also like, it's it's silly nonsense. It's, you know, totally random, um, but it's still funny and it's a great laugh and you don't hate each other I, and you don't it doesn't require the players to balance it everyone has the same sort of journey you know and it's just yeah. it's just great fun. I definitely have have answers but they're not coming to my mind I will comment on this video with well, send answers. me a message later and I'll add them in editing I'll add them in post I'll be like Chris <laughs> says these on, let me, let comes me, up on let the me screen give, let me give you some footage of me um, of me doing the audio went yeah. <laughs> now you guys give me some reactions yeah. Why don't you just say, Chris, <laughs> this one? Just see this. This oh, one. Yeah, no, actually, this I one. have just thought of one, actually. Um, a re- better beers and pretzel game would be uh, this one that uh, Mike is putting, flashing up right here. Oh, another good one would be Cosmic Encounter. I mean, it's I've not. Only, I've played it once and only once, and I don't know if I'd bother playing it again. But you're probably right. That's No, you know what? As, as of right this moment, I would rather play this than Cosmic Encounter for my beer and pretzels game. I mean, I'd rather play Mansions of Madness Second Edition. That's not a beer. Is that a beer game? I guess it is. I haven't played it yet. I love Mansions of Madness. I mean, if, 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 it's, it's, it's co-op. It, it. So it's, <laughs> it's co-op, but it's also a game that I keep getting to the table, and that's it. We're done. Um, unless you've got one, uh, right here.
Perfect. Great. Perfect. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> Thanks for coming on this Western Legends journey with us. And we'll get... Uh, hope you enjoy your own games of Wanted Truck at home. Bye, everyone. See you, Bye. guys. Bye. Nice to see you again, Chris.